Hi there, so I thought we'd do a quick video having a look at stringers. Now I love stringers on a plane, whether it's down the side of the fuselage or like on this 1970s Avanti Patterns plane on the turtle deck here. I thought it'd be good to do a video looking at how we can make them look a little bit more delicate but still retaining strength and rigidity. Because at the end of the day, we want our stringers to be strong. The last thing we want to do is start covering the model and having them bowing and moving in or even breaking under the, uh, the pressure that can be put on by covering films. Now, I built these uh, stringers, or I put these stringers in exactly as specified on the plans here. And these are a great set of plans I downloaded from the Outer Zone website. But the thing about these stringers is they still they, they look a little bit heavy and I think it'd be nice to thin them down and make them look just a little bit more delicate under that covering film. So I thought I'd share with you a technique, really simple, of how we can thin these down and get a delicate look but still retaining that strength of the stringer. Right, well these stringers here, the two on either side of the keel, are one eighth balsa and the one down the center is a quarter. So that's a hefty piece of balsa and you, you can see how thick it is. So I'm going to use two simple techniques to get these thinner and I'm going to use a really sharp scalpel to start with and I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to take off a slither of balsa as we go down like this and we can just take off a really thin amount and what we're trying to do is just put a little bit of a not a point um, but and we don't want a ball nose but we're just thinning thinning down the actual surface here that's going to make contact with the covering film so we'll bring this down to essentially an eighth of an inch so that it just looks a lot thinner whereas under the surface it will still be that uh, that quarter inch keel providing the strength that we need. Now we can take that down on both sides. We don't need to take a great deal off to get it thinner. And then on the 1 8 pieces again we will run down with the scalpel. Now we need to be really careful here not to dig in and that's why it's important to have a really sharp scalpel and we can just use our finger on the opposite side of the stringer as a guide. Now this is a little bit too constricted to get a, uh, a plane in there to do the job because obviously a plane would be ideal than using a freehand scalpel like this. Now once we've got this done what we can do is we can go down both sides. I've just got some fairly, uh, this is uh, 120 grit I think, garnet paper and we can just go down nice and steady and sand that off. So really what we're doing is we're just reducing the top profile down to an eighth of an inch and that will give us much more delicate stringers. So I will get this done now and then we'll come back and have a look. Right well let's have a look at what we've done so far. We've reduced this quarter inch keel here now by chamfering the sides so that the actual surface that is going to contact with the film is down to one eighth. So that we've reduced the contact there by 50% and I don't know how well that shows up on the camera but it looks a lot thinner and it will look a lot more delicate when it's done. We've also reduced this one down to one sixteen from one eighth. Again just chamfering the sides and you can see with this one here it looks a lot heavier compared to the other one and uh, that one I haven't done and if we go around on this side again I haven't done this one but I've done that one and you can see the difference there hopefully and when we get this covered it will look so much more delicate it will look really nice rather than being perhaps a little bit too thick and too chunky. And this is a sleek 1970s retro kind of patterns plane. So we want it to look sleek and, uh, and lovely. 
Right, well, I've now got this turtle deck finished and I'm really pleased with the look of it. We've essentially reduced the contact point of all five stringers by 50%. So when we get that covering film on, it's going to look so much finer, but we are still going to have the strength below supporting them. And it's these fine details, I think, that often make our planes really stand out and make them look uh, as sleek as this Avanti Patterns plane should look. I mean, it's a technique that a lot of people watching this may already be using, but if you're not, I just thought it would be worth sharing it. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks very much for watching.